7 50 in the morning and I'm heading home to Tanya. Ugh. Official moving in day. And the final video of me going from Beth's to Tanya's. Yeah, so I got the rest of my things all packed up into the car. I'm not bringing the bedside table like I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about bringing it, but I'm like, yeah, we don't need more things. Especially things from my past. Threw, my old, threw away the old bedding, kept my blankets though. Kept a couple things here and there, and well, today's the day I officially move into my fiance's. Will be officially my new home. I text Beth letting her know that I put the key on under the mat outside and that it's locked up. I thought about just hanging them up on the key thing and then just leave them as they are and just move with them hanged up. Leave the doors unlocked. I was like, yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that. And I don't even feel comfortable even leaving with the key under the mat, but at least the apartment itself is secured. <laughs> so, I was going to just sleep in until my body woke me up, but God used Noel slash Scott McIntyre to wake me up with, this, with text this morning. So, so I take advantage of that. So, I'm probably going to have to drink coffee and go to sleep early. In any case. very scared out of my pants, but at the same time, I feel very, uh, hopeful for the future. It's... <sighs> my sister has been a lifeline for me for years. She has been someone that I feel safe with, even though her and I don't always talk or hang out or agree on things. She's always been kind of like my... Leaving Sit Lighthouse to cleave to someone I love. And it's scared the crap out of me. But you know, I'm going to be just fine. I'm going to be okay. You can get that scared right now, but I will be okay. Just really hoping my sister doesn't hate me. That's what I'm worried about. We haven't really talked. I think the night before last was the last night we were talking to each other. And you know, I fish told her I'm, I'm moving out fully. I want to at least see if there's any last words she wanted to say before I physically move. You know, have a, at least some closure between her and I. I don't, space will that, determine that. For now, I'm going to be okay with the fact that I'm moving and accept the responsibilities and the consequences of doing this. I just can't believe I'm actually doing it. things in the car until after uh, 
the guys move in the bedding and they'll move the last of the stuff, which basically it's just two pillows, a blanket, some small things, a Bible, and I think that's it. <sighs> yep, so everything's gonna be okay. You know, life could be a lot worse. So living with my sister, I didn't have to hold a job as much. I didn't have to worry about being kicked out. I didn't have to worry about that. And now I'm living with someone else. And I, I love her to death, but she has this un expected side to her that I'm not careful could lead to problems within our relationship and our future so I have to be very careful with what I do next with my life it's no more fun and games next job I get I'm gonna hold because I have to um, until Tanya's able to secure a, a job at a job that'll last so she's depending on me to take care of myself I'm depending on her to take care of herself I love her to death going against something has to push and shove oh oh where is my sh windshield birdies oh okay I guess I'm parking there and looks like she's awake she hasn't texted me yet, whether or not she got my message, but I think she'll get the point. Oh. oh god. I'm so terrified trying to park in this thing. Okay. No, this is good enough. No, it's not. The struggle is real trying to park this thing. I hate the tight spots so much, but it is what it is. Alright, gotta go. Thank you for watching this last and final morning video. And wish me luck. Please be in prayer though over us. And you. Thanks for watching.